With glyph support, Silhouette has made it much easier to access your swoops and swirls and all those fun little curly cues that you can add to your fonts. Instead of looking up your fonts system key library where you would have to select certain keys to add those in, now you can go into your text style and select glyphs. Here you can go in and see all of them all in one place. If I want to change this H to something a little fancier, I just have to find that H. You can size these larger for easier visual. And then I just add that in. Same thing with any other extras that you like to add. Not all fonts will come with this feature. So keep in mind, if you want to find a font with that feature, you can go in there and search any fonts that do not allow it. It will still show up under the glyph support. It just won't show any extra glyphs. The glyphs also come in handy if you're using dingbat fonts. They make it much easier to access which image correlates with the letter it's assigned. Under font management, with the basic edition, you'll see an upgraded font category for frequently used and recently used fonts. But in designer edition, you will see that the option to categorize your silhouette fonts by creating subfolders like I have done here with my dingbats. To do this, simply access your library's fonts. And by right clicking, you can add a new folder. Here I've added my dingbats and some block fonts. If I want to change to some script fonts, Simply name the file, go back to your main category, and you can drag those in. Now I have one script font under that folder. If I go back to my design area, I now have a script category. This is much easier to access any silhouette ones, whereas before you'd have to go into your library and access them.